Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're finally doing our finished apartment tour. It's been a while since we finished it, but we wanted to finally film this video. So I hope that you guys enjoy. My Atlanta videos seem to be super popular right now. I think it's because a lot of people are moving here and thinking about moving here. So I hope that this helps you in some way to learn about like how much apartments cost and how we decorated it, how far we're from the city and things like that. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy. If you would like to see more Atlanta videos, please be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy our apartment tour. So this apartment, I believe is about 850 square feet and we pay 1400 a month. That's not including utilities, that just includes like amenities like the, the dog park, the pool, the gym. Um, it includes our valet trash, our pest control, and what else does it include? I think that's it. <laughs> so that's all included in the price. We live in Chambly, Georgia, which is like 15 minutes from downtown Atlanta. Our address is still Atlanta, so we're technically in Atlanta, but we're just not in downtown or midtown. So that's if there's no traffic, it takes like 15 to 20 minutes to get to downtown. Otherwise, it could take a couple of hours. So anyway, that's kind of the budget you're looking at if you're looking for a little bit outside of the city. $1,400 is like, I feel like is a pretty adequate price range. So anyway, let's get started. <laughs> so we're starting at the front door. So over here to the right is our kitchen. And this is the one part of the house, or apartment I should say, that's like not the greatest um, because there's like practically no counter space. So when we had Thanksgiving here with my family, we had to have like everybody <laughs> taking a separate counter to try to make all the food. But whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Having a pantry is super nice though. This is like the first apartment I've ever lived in that's had a pantry. So that's really nice to not have to take up like cabinet space for the pantry. And what else is in here? Um, this sign is from our wedding. My friend Sarah did the calligraphy. Um, her Instagram is at the lettering barn, I believe, but I will link it down below. And it used to say Blake and Marissa, March 11, 2018, which was our wedding, but we erased that and just kept the welcome. I think it looks really nice in here. Pretty much it. Oh, this KitchenAid we got for Christmas when we first got married, or not when we first got married, when we first got together and started living together from my dad and my stepmom. It's really nice for baking. I love it. Then we have Nala's treats over here. I have this random leaf from Autumn from our first year in Atlanta after moving here from Florida. So I have this giant leaf. <laughs> and then, so if we come over here, we have Nala's dog bowl. And this is just like where we put all our stuff, so like our bags, our bags, Nala's leash, our keys, my raincoat, my regular coat, and Blake's hat. Since I'm a server, I usually hang my apron here as well, but I took it out for this video because it doesn't look that pretty. And then over here, we move into the living room area. So starting over here, we have like this little tiny bar top area. So we have this picture, which we've had since we first moved in together a while back. And I want to change it to have a picture of Nala and us, but we don't really have one that's like vertical yet, so we need to get one of those. And then over here we have our essential oils, which we really love. It makes the house smell really, really good. And we keep all of them in this little container. They have some coasters, but we don't really use them because they like have this hole in them. Whoopsies. <laughs> they have this hole in them. So if you put like a cup or something and it leaks through, then it serves literally no purpose. So they're just here for decoration. And then over here we have this beautiful wall, which we've also had from our first apartment. And it's one of my favorite like decoration pieces that we have. We have some pictures from Wynwood in Miami and then Harry Potter World and Universal Orlando. My cousin Emma painted this wine bottle for us. It has like a reindeer on it. Um, my aunt gave us that mug. This is one of my favorite um, thrifting finds I've ever done is this vintage Edgar Allan Poe book, which is from like the 1800s. So it's a very, very vintage. And I leave it here so it stays pretty pretty uh, safe and it doesn't disintegrate if I'm touching it a lot. Um, the, this is from Target. I thrifted this, it has a candle inside. And then Blake's old boss, when he used to work at Starbucks, actually made this for us. And it says the best is yet to come, it's really pretty. So we really like that. 
And then over here we have our first bookshelf. This actually has a really funny story why the wall is messed up. So one day we had our reading chair, which I'm gonna show you in a second, sitting here because Blake was watching TV on it. And Nala was so excited. She came running from the bedroom over there, all the way over here. And she jumped in the chair that was sitting here and it slid and hit the wall while the wax marker was on and it splashed wax all over the wall. So, yeah, <laughs> it's really bad. Um, yeah, it's really bad. So anyway, that wax warmer is from Walmart. Is it from Walmart or Target? Oh, Target, I believe. Target, one of the two. Um, and the bookshelf is from Walmart. It was really cheap. It was like less than $50. So we were really happy about that. And the little like succulent plant fake thing is from Walmart as well. And then I just have various books and stuff on the shelves. There's a little bit of Nala fuzz I'm gonna toss <laughs> from over here. And then moving on to this area. So the walls, we were trying to touch up and we took like a little sample of paint to Home Depot or was it Lowe's? I don't know, one of the two. And they gave us this color, but for some reason it's like the same color, but it's shiny instead of matte, which our walls are matte. So you can see these streaks on the wall, but it's fine. It's fine. I've been trying to contact the apartment complex with everything going on in Atlanta right now. It's just not a priority. So I wanted to film this video, even though the walls still need to be fixed and we're moving in February anyway. So I'm not like super concerned about the walls. But anyway, that's the wall story. And that's also why we don't have paint for the, the wax spill over there. So this is like the living room area. Um, the coffee table is my favorite part of it. Blake convinced me to buy it because it was a little pricey. It was like $200, which isn't that bad, but it was a lot for me. So it's really nice with the glass top and then it has drawers on the side, which are really nice because then it has room for like controllers and headphones, <coughs> excuse me, and cards. And then this plant is also from Target. I believe it actually was up there first. It was somewhere around the house and then we moved it to the coffee table. These lights we got from a consignment store. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but I'll have it linked down below. It's in Chamblee, if anybody lives here. We really like it. We got both of these for $40 each. They were from a um, apartment showroom. So, Nala, really, right now. <laughs> I'm gonna take that away. Thank you very much. These were from an Atlanta showroom, or an apartment showroom, so they got them for really cheap. So they paid $80 for both of them. They're really nice light bulbs. I feel like they add a really nice touch to the room. So we have those. And then the carpet on the floor is actually from the same consignment store, and we got it for $20 because it has like a little tear on it, but it's hiding under the coffee table. So it was a total seal because carpets are not cheap at all. And I'm not expecting for a toy. And then lastly, of course, our couch in this area. This couch honestly sucks so bad. We got it off of Facebook Marketplace and it was $500. It was new. It wasn't like we got it used from Facebook Marketplace. We got it new from this company that like gets all of these pieces of furniture from like furniture stores that have closed down or other things like that. And so we thought it was a really good deal. So we got it, but these buttons, keep like falling off, which is kind of annoying and it's just kind of small. So we're really looking forward in our next apartment to getting like a really nice couch and actually investing in something that's gonna last us a long time. Cause we've only had this for like a year, a year and a couple months and it's already kind of falling apart. So that's the couch. Um, the pillows came with it and this pillow I got from Goodwill. That blanket is from Walmart, but tomorrow we're actually gonna go to TJ Maxx and we're gonna get a really big comfy one because I really hate like the tiny, tiny throws when you're watching a movie because they cover like half your body and not the other half. So we're gonna go get a big one that covers my whole body. And then over here we have another bookshelf. Like I said, it was from Walmart. So we got two of them for either side of the couch. Um, I have a bunch of books on here. These have a bunch of my favorite books on this particular one. Some of my favorites um, are include the Mary Poppins vintage books that my dad and my stepmom got me for my birthday this year and they're very, very beautiful. And then this globe, which is either from Walmart or Target. I think Walmart. Yeah, I think in Walmart too. So we're gonna go with Walmart. And then over here we have Nala's dog crate. 
So I really don't like having Nella in a dog crate. I wish that she was the kind of dog we could trust to have out and about when we left the house. But unfortunately, she destroys everything when we leave. So she has to go in a dog crate when we leave the house. And we take it with us when we travel as well. So she doesn't destroy our parents' houses when we're visiting or anything like that. So we got the dog crate from Amazon. But you can find so many off of Facebook Marketplace for so much cheaper, honestly. Um, and then that little doggy bed we got her from TJ Maxx. The little blanket in the back was just an old blanket. All the pillows are upcycled or purchased from Goodwill. I believe all of them are old couch pillows we had. The little one that looks like a letter in the back was actually from my college like dorm room, even though I didn't live in a dorm, I lived in an apartment. But that was from my first bed there. And then we got this giant unicorn from Walmart and she loves playing with it. Actually, I'm gonna give it to her now so she can play with it instead of the squeaky one. And hopefully she'll go, yep, here she goes. <laughs> She's coming for it. So she really <laughs> loves the unicorn and that one's gonna be quiet while we do the rest of our tour. <laughs> then this area over here is one of my favorite spots in the house. I wake up every morning and come sit on this chair. Now let's sit on the patio and I play Animal Crossing and it's so nice and peaceful. This is our little reading nook area. This thing was a total steal from Walmart. We got it for like 110 or 115, I believe, this chair. Um, and it's so, so comfy and cozy. The lamp was also from Walmart as well. I believe everything on this table is from Walmart except for the sloth candle, which was from TJ Maxx. So the elephant, the little succulents, those are all from Walmart, as well as the really nice marble table, which I believe was like 40 or $50. So this area is just really comfy and cozy. We also got another extension cable for over here. So when we're playing like the Switch or on our phones or anything, we have a way to plug in <laughs> out here. We have the porch, which keep in mind it's pollen season, so don't judge us because the porch table is covered in pollen, but I'm, there's no point in cleaning it because it's just going to be covered again. So yeah, it's a mess. It needs to be cleaned. You can see the pollen all over the walls as well. Um, but these things, my mom gave this to us. It's like a little like mosquito lantern that lights up and then there's a mosquito candle as well and then a little plant we got from Target. We got the set from Target for um, our wedding registry. Our My dad and stepmom got it for us. So it's really nice. We really like it. It's been with us for a couple of apartments now. And then over here is our beautiful entertainment center. Oh, I forgot this part. <laughs> this sign is from Target uh, a long time ago, so I don't know if they still have it. And then Nala's little basket for our toys I got from TJ Maxx. And then over here, so this is our beautiful Roku TV, which was an investment when we first moved here. It was right when the last season of Game of Thrones was coming out. And this is a this is a 4K TV, right? Mm -hmm. 4K TV, so it was really nice to watch Game of Thrones on. And we really, really love it. So we got that TV, Blake mounted it for us. So I think it, like, I feel like that is like one of the best tips for decorating apartment is mounting your TVs. I just feel like it makes the room feel so much more put together. I don't know. Yeah, that's just my opinion. Makes and, it feel bigger too. Yeah, it makes it feel nice and spacious. It's not, it like brings your eyes upward. Anyway, um, Blake has an Xbox 360. He plays NCAA on it. That's literally the only game he plays, <laughs> but he has his Xbox. And then this is the beautiful gift I got him for our first Christmas together. It is the limited edition Star Wars PS4. So, and I think he enjoys his PS4 <laughs> with Darth Vader on it. Unfortunately, the controller that came with it broke, so we don't have that anymore. This is our sound bar, which um, we used to have with the TV that's in the bedroom now, um, because that TV has really bad sound, but uh, we have it in the living room now, just for really great like movie watching and stuff. Blake uses it the most. I'll wait till now it's out of street. <laughs> This always happens when I'm filming. <laughs> okay, so we obviously don't use it that much. Blake uses it the most when he wants to play like some worship music or some cleaning music. He uses it the most. It's covered in all of here. And no matter how many times we clean, it, it, everything is covered in all of here. And then I just have some more books, my I Love Lucy collection, my Star Wars collection. Um, I have all of my movies in here and then my Switch case as well. And then, so this I also got for Blake our first Christmas together and I really love it. We actually have a picture of, in front of the store. I'll put it right beside it. 
um, in this video, but it's us on our wedding day in front of the same exact door, like three years after this picture was taken. So I think that that's really cool in a future apartment or house that we have. I really want to put the two pictures side by side. I think it's really nice, but this was right after Blake came back from his Cambodia mission trip. So it's a really special picture for us, a very special time in our lives. And then we head into the bedroom. I'm not going to say what every white person says about the bedroom. It's, uh, it's where the magic happens. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, please don't. I'm not going to say that. But I will say this is my favorite room in the house. And I don't mean that in an appropriate way. I just mean that it, my, I love my bed. I love being in here. Blake usually hangs out in the living room to play his games and I hang out in here and play my games. So this is like my favorite room in the house. Um, I guess we'll go around this way. So the first thing we have is this scratch off map, which my sister and her boyfriend gave to us. And I love it so much. It's from a company called Wanderlust and um, it has every place that we've been so far and we're hoping to cross off a lot more. We actually were supposed to have a couple of states crossed off in the next few months, but I don't know if that will happen now. So that is sad, but that's okay. Eventually we will get our map going. And then this little thing down here is really, really old. I think I got it from Home Goods when I went to college and now it just has my pajamas in it. And then over here we have the TV. So I decided not to mount this TV because the mounting in one in the living room was a lot of work and not a lot of people come in our bedroom. So I was like, eh, whatever. We'll probably mount it in our next apartment. Um, but we have my Wii over here and then we have the Switch over here. We honestly have like a lot of gaming consoles. <laughs> then we have the PS2, which Blake got me for my 21st birthday um, so I could play Kingdom Hearts because it's my favorite game of all time. So I have that. I have a VHS and a DVD player. And then this dresser my aunt actually found for us at some like vintage store or Goodwill or something like that. So it's really nice. It is super heavy so I think we might sell it before we move again so we don't have to move it because it is a kind of a pain. So that and the couch will definitely be leaving. And then we got this map from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's just a little Georgia map and it's really nice. I think it has... I'll probably have to get rid of that too. I know. <laughs> Keep the frame but... Stay tuned but... It might not be relevant in a couple months when we move, so we have Georgia and then I have the world map on the other side, so I just think it's a nice little contrast of where we're currently calling home and all the places I want to visit. And then over here we have my ring light for my videos because I usually film like right here on the floor and my what we said hoodie because when I walk in all in the morning I put on my hoodie so I have a place to put my keys and stuff. So I just have that ready to go for in the mornings when I take out Nala. And then of course we have the window to the porch and the road and then over here we have some pictures so my mother-in-law got this for me for christmas one year she was trying to do my favorite bible verse but she did one that's like right next to it in the bible so my favorite bible verse is consider how the wild flowers grow this one says do not worry consider the wild flowers and i like the one that says consider how the wildflowers grow, grow. So it's, it's probably just a different translation. Yeah, it could be a different translation, but I still love it because it's very similar to the Bible verse that I really love. And it was really thoughtful that she picked my favorite Bible verse for me and put it in this really pretty frame. So I really love that. And then because I knew I was hanging that up, I decided to order this off of Amazon. It's basically a really old dictionary page that somebody put this print of an elephant with butterflies on. So that's really pretty. And I think I got the frame from Target. So that's that one. And then over here is our closet. So it's not super organized. Um, I have all my VHSs, some more books, a bunch of stuff up there that needs to be organized. And then our clothes, of course. That shoe thing is the best thing ever. We got it from Target. It's two of them that we just stacked on top of each other. And it looks super nice. And I see Blake did not put his shoes away so I'm gonna put them away so it looks a little bit nicer <laughs> that's the closet and then over here we have the nightstand the first one I should say so this is my nightstand I sleep on this side of the bed and it has my planner the book I'm currently reading which is the Chronicles of Narnia and then underneath it has my Bible it has the controller for the Roku TV oh I forgot to mention I'm currently watching Clueless but I'm sure you saw that when we passed by the TV and then it has, um, I have this little thing over here, which my friend Katie in Seattle gave to me. And it's just like a little glass jewelry bowl for all the things I wear the most often. 
This little guy has been with me since I was born. His name is Chewy. <laughs> he's up here because if I put him anywhere on the floor, and Nala thinks it's hers and she tries to destroy him. So he's here safe and sound. Then I have some lotion. Love Beauty and Planet is my favorite because I always get like really dry skin before I go to bed. And then of course my vitamins. Right now I'm taking Ritual and I'm really, really liking them. I might get some more because they've been helping me feel really productive and I really like them. And then I have some pain reliever because I've just started going back to work and my legs are sore. Magnesium for my pelvis, which I'm currently working on. Um, and then Eucerin for my eczema. And then this is my reusable water bottle. Um, it's from the brand Mana. And then I have some glasses, but I honestly need a new pair because these are pretty old. So that's my nightstand. And then my grandma got me this, which just has some like magazines and stuff in it. It's cool. It's like one of those like flippy ones. <laughs> So you can change the colors so she got me that for Christmas one year and it's really cute so that's that and then over here we have the bed which Nala is modeling for you <laughs> so this is our bed our bed needs to be replaced very badly it actually is sinking in on one side but like I said we're moving in February and there's no way I'm taking a whole mattress with us to where we're gonna be moving which I'll be talking about in a future vlog but yeah, we won't be taking this bed with us. We're just trying to use it while we're here and then we're gonna get a brand new one when we move. This bed set is from Target. It's super nice. I think literally every bed set that we've gotten is from Target and they've all been really nice. So we really love it. And that little blanket, I believe is from Target as well. And then that little wall decor piece is from Target. We got it at the same time as we got the bed. Just adding a little flair to the room. Um, it needed to be updated because our sheets were really old and like tearing and stuff. So these are brand new. And then Blake's nightstand, nothing too exciting <laughs> over here. Um, he just usually has his phone and stuff. And then we have, let me turn this on so you can see it. We have some picture frames. People have like mixed views about pictures and houses, but I think it makes them so much more homier. So I have this picture frame. This is from Wynwood again, Disneyland, uh, Disney World for Dapper Day. And then this is at our church when they did like an at the movie series and this needs to be dusted. I'm just now realizing, yikes. <laughs> and then this is like a little tack board. It just has some Polaroids on it. Um, and then this little thing, it's a Cinderella wedding keychain, which I got from one of those like surprise bags. I was trying so hard to get her and I finally got her. So she's on there. And then over here, Oh look, Nala brought her unicorn for us. <laughs> we'll slide that over here. So this area is like my little area that I've decorated. Um, Blake got this in Virginia. It's like a little map with all the constellations and star signs on it for the different months and it's really cool. So you've probably seen that in the background of my videos if you've watched my channel before. And then this is a vintage dresser. And then when I say vintage, I mean like really vintage. It still has the keyhole for where you used to put the key when you're opening your dresser and when you open it up, I won't open it up because you're going to see my underwear, but <laughs> it has like the little magnet strip um, where the key used to go into. So it's really cool. I really love it. I definitely want to refurbish it because some of the drawers don't pull out as easily as the others. So I want to put those like tracks with like the wheel so it pulls out a little bit easier. So I'll probably be doing that in the future on this channel, upcycling this wardrobe or dresser. So be sure to subscribe if you want to check that out. And then I have some of my favorite books. Um, some of these I haven't read yet, but I just picked like the black, white, and gold theme to go with this dresser. And then I have some like fake glasses that Blake got me for Christmas. This is my jewelry box I've literally had for years and years and years, like since high school. So I have my jewelry box here. Um, this is my vintage Mickey lunchbox. I'm a very very protective of this lunchbox because it is from the 70s and I just bought it at an antique store. Actually, I bought both of these at the same place. It's called Out of the Cedar Chest. I want to say it's in like coming or something, but I'll link it down below. Um, so these are really cool. It's sitting here because I don't know what I want to do with it yet. A lot of people refurbish them and paint them like galaxy colors or other designs, but I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of want to keep it like the original. So I don't know. I haven't decided. So that's why it's sitting on my dresser. And then this is a little elephant creamer from the 40s, actually. I also got this from an antique shop from Chambly. And I put these little pencils from Target in there that are just really pretty. 
and I just really love this little creamer because it's so cute and elephants are my favorite animal if you can't tell by my bracelet and my necklace and this elephant and the, that elephant and that, all the elephants in the house. So I have him here with the pencils. And then I have this little necklace hanger um, with all my Disney pins, with all my necklaces and my pins. And then I have like some hair brats in here. This is also a vintage find that I found at an antique shop. And then both of these pictures I got from Goodwill. So um, this one just says, hello sunshine. This one is a little llama. I felt like they went really well together. And then this is a little Eiffel Tower thing, which I've had since I went to college and I have our passports on it and some pictures. And then over here is our bathroom. And there's nothing really to talk about in here. This little thing is from Target, this little organizer thingamajig. And we really love it. We got it for our, our wedding from my cousins, Danette and Joe. So thank you guys. It's really nice. And um, this usually looks a little bit nicer because I usually have like bath bombs in here, but I haven't really gone shopping for bath bombs in a while. So it just has my Epsom salt. And then we got this little wax melter from Target. It makes the bathroom smell really nice. And then, oh, um, Blake's aunt got this for us for Christmas with the one year. It's the lyrics from the song Oceans, if you've heard it before. It's a worship song. And then this little shower curtain we got from Walmart. It's really cute. It's got an elephant again, <laughs> going with a little theme. And then lastly over here, leads back out into the entrance but this is like basically like a little office um it we don't use it as often as i was thinking we would i was thinking i would use this space to like edit videos and record my podcast but i honestly don't use it that much i just do everything in my room so <laughs> but it's still a really nice area um this little printer is really nice and um we got it from my sister-in-law because she works for a youtuber and um she edits their videos and they bought her a printer and when it got to her house it accidentally had two in the package so she gave us the extra one and then of course that's not usually there gloves and face masks but this it's there right now because of everything that's going on um, my sister-in-law also gave us this office chair was one of her old ones these are all just various things the mrs pods is because my name is mrs pods so everybody loves to give me like teapots and stuff um, these i got from an antique sale which I do have a vlog on if you want to watch that i will link it and then this is one of my favorite things we have in our entire house so this is a map that we got from etsy it says blake and marissa established 2018 and we had it at our wedding and everybody signed it at our wedding so i just really love that this is a guest book because we can hang it in our house and see it every day and see everybody's love for us so it's really nice up here we just have board games and all of our grocery bags, like our reusable ones that we take with us. And in this little closet we just have all of our Christmas stuff, um, Halloween stuff, everything. Like all of our cleaning supplies and stuff as well, it's just kind of thrown in there. And then lastly we have our washer and dryer in here. Um, they're really nice. We're really lucky that we have a full size washer and dryer in our apartment because in previous apartments we've lived in. There has not been a full size, it's been like a half or something. So that's our washer and dryer. And then lastly are these pictures which I got from Goodwill. They were really cheap, they were like $2 each or something. And I think they just had a nice little touch in this area because there's not too much going on as far as decorations go. And then we're back to the beginning. Yay! So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I did do an empty apartment tour for this apartment as well. So if you want to see what it looked like before we added all the decorations and stuff, I'll have that linked up above. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps you if you're planning your move to Atlanta on kind of the space that you're getting for the price. Again, we do not live in downtown Atlanta. We live in Chambly, which is a little bit outside of Atlanta, like downtown. So um, that's kind of our apartment. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on Thursday with a vlog. Bye!